I'm Tracy Webb and I'm the nursery manager at Parsonage Farm Day Nursery and we're in the corner of East Sussex. My name's Holly Barnes, I'm the earliest professional and also the preschool supervisor. Initially when I found out that nurseries were going to have to have an EYP, uh, I spent some time thinking about who at the nursery would be suitable. Holly had just finished studying and she had a real interest in child development. You've got hundreds of Alice photos, haven't you? Hundreds and hundreds. The concern for me was how will it benefit the nursery because at the end of the day Holly could leave with her EYP status and we're left wondering quite what we got from it. It did take up time, but it was worth the effort. And it's no different to supporting someone through an MVQ or any other course. It takes time to sit down, work out where they need help, where they need support, explain to the other staff what's going on. Very simple steps. I like to have spiky fingers. I know, he's great, spiky isn't he? Spiky hair. Hello, darling. <laughs> the sort of level of help changed. Different parts of the course she found were within her sort of knowledge and her experience. And there were times when it was just her own confidence needed supporting. So that was just a phone call to say, you're doing all right, don't panic, it'll be okay. Are you making a tower? I think finding the right way for us both, both to use the role was a little bit of a, that was the tricky sort of part of it. Obviously the main thing that we had down there was obviously the superhero week. Which At the time I wasn't sure if there was a sort of a set ideal for this is how an EYP works, this is what they're meant to do. So all we did was we found out how we worked together. I've got a leading role, Tracy's got a leading role, but they're both very separate. She's a manager in the office. She sort of manages, the, you know, staff and staff issues and the general day-to-day -day of the nursery. And my leading role is managing with the children and with the staff and making sure everything's up to date with the curriculum. It's the learning and development side for the children. That's the, that's the important bit for an earliest professional. Well done. Right, who is it? I did the long pathway. So I had the opportunity to do lots more sort of training than some people and I personally feel I got more out of it by doing the long pathway. Who's going to be next? Ready? Whee! Who is it? I've had my early years professional status now for nearly two years and there's still stuff that I come in every day and think, I haven't done that, I'm going to introduce that next week and I'm going to give that a try. I'm still training so it's, it's ongoing every day. <laughs> Every three months when we go along, there's different training opportunities. And the Boogie Mites was one, and I thought, oh, I love music, and I love singing with the children. And we went along to the training, and it just seemed so fun and interesting. Hi, everybody. Little fish swimming in the sea. The children get a real buzzer out of it, and it's another situation where they're doing music, and they don't, they're not linking ideas to letters and sounds. They don't know that they're learning those skills that will help them for reading and writing and things. Sydney, would you like some milk? Yeah. yeah. Can you see, please? When I went and did the Makaton training, it just seemed so interesting and something that even children that don't have language difficulties could do in an everyday sort of situation. So I thought it'd be important to bring it into the nursery. Has everybody eaten their banana? banana. Like you're peeling it. Good girl. <laughs> One of the things I introduced in the baby room was the heuristic play, which I thought was quite a practical thing that would be something that I could introduce that the staff could actually carry on themselves without me having to be in there all the time. It was something they would have the confidence to adapt. They have different materials, so wooden objects, natural materials, so we've got the shells and things for them to explore, and pine cones, and beads, shiny things, anything metal, and but all things that you'd find generally around the house for the babies to explore and get the idea of different materials and way things feel. Before we had Holly as our EYP, all the different age groups that we have here operated quite independently. What she has done is bring us all together as a nursery as a whole. 
day-to-day -day work, the activities, the early years foundation stage, all would have happened. But what Holly did was identify something new and different. So ultimately, the children that are with us, their experience has been improved. And that's really what it was all about, was the experience of the children with us. I'm sure it has really helped us in reaching our outstanding Ofsted, having an EYP and making the effort to support them through that.